Already, ladies and gentlemen, almost too late show, The Return, take three, and action. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to The Almost Too Late Show. I am your host, Kyle Archer. Yeah! <laughs> this is a very, 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 very special rendition of The Almost Too Late Show because, have you've, have, as you've noticed, have you, have, as you've noticed, have have I have taken a super long hiatus because I'm not really posting any content right now but um, I had one of my very specials as I like to say in Philadelphia friends come out to um, the show on my laptop that is very much he's not actually here in the studio or in my bedroom he's there really close to the screen insert image there there he is we have an honor here because he has a new EP dropping called Everyone I Know is a song in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I give you CJ Dunleavy. Hey dude, what's going on? Nothing, just getting interviewed, right? Yeah, just, just a little it's been a while. It has been a while. It's been pretty much since the last time we talked to you on the show. Um, which, to be honest, did you have anything promoting that on the show, or was it this EP that you're dropping? No, I... He, oh, at the time? No, I yeah. was promoting anything. I was promoting the month of April. Promoting the month of April. I mean, you know, it's a great month to promote. Yeah. You know, April yeah. showers, you gotta promote that in order to bring the May... Oh, actually, I think I was talking about the EP then. I feel like you were. I got an EP coming out and... It's a word of full circle. This is the almost too closed circle right now. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh? Anyways. I, I, I agree. Well, CJ, before we start this interview, um, I actually wrote you a song that I want to play for you. Um, can, yeah. I, can I play the song okay. for you? Absolutely. Let's All right. It, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> CJ Don Levy Dropping a new EP Come the almost too late show Let's go <laughs> Yeah? Hey, that's amazing. I think I should put that in the intro of my EP. Ooh, in the intro? Do you think you have time to do that? Or Oh absolutely. I mean what? We got like like five hours? Five hours, six hours, what is it? 7.40 at the time of this recording? Wow, you actually have like, yep, about five hours to go. Is that how the math checks out? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, four hours and 20 minutes. The almost correct math show. The almost correct math show. You know my dad was a math teacher and I can't do math to save my life. Yeah, at all, wow. at all. Aren't you proud of me there, dad? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, still, no, no sound. That's what I'm used to. Um, <clears throat> anyways. <laughs> Stupid joke. Stupid joke. Uh, just kidding, Dad, I love you if you see this. I don't really know if you watch my stuff. If you do, you know, do something else. I don't know. It's, it's alright. Anyways, um, CJ, let's talk about, let's talk about this EP. First off, um, I want to talk about your title of the EP. Everyone I Know is a Song in the End. Um, what really inspired you to create this, this name for it? Yeah, so it's actually uh, taken from a lyric in the last song uh, of the EP where uh, the, whole, the whole EP tells the story of me trying to find my way through the uh, dating scene, or the modern dating scene, after getting out of a five-year relationship. Right. And the last song is looking back on all of, those, uh, all of those experiences and stories, and the last line of the chorus is, trust me, you don't want to be more than friends, because everyone I know is a song in the end. And that line, um, you know, it was more to where that line came from and how I thought of that line, but I liked it too much to know that I wanted to uh, to use it. And it was so long, it kind of reminded me of, like, a nostalgic emo. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. It, it, ha it has a certain, like, twang to it, you know, a little bit of a twisty twist top to it. Yeah. Um, no, I do. I love that. <laughs> the little jolt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it just... <laughs> getting shoved by invisible twisties like, 
Can you imagine if, like, um, there was a ghost and it just came out only to, like, twist your nipples? Yeah. Yeah. You could? Whenever. Yeah, so everyone I know is a song. Yeah, yeah. This has happened to you before. Is this an act, like, an acting exercise? This is not an acting exercise. Anything? Do you... Ow. (laughs) So dumb. Um... Everyone I know is a song in the end. So with this, um, it's it's this this question that I've been dying to ask you. Since you believe that everyone that you know is a song in the end, um, what song would I be? Ooh, ooh. Um, you have to, you have to. Why can't we? <laughs> you have to, be you have to break my heart. Why can't we? Oh, break your heart. I'm I'm over here singing. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> And you're like, you gotta break my heart. <laughs> to get a, to get a, it's, it's a, you really gotta be careful what you wish for with getting a song for me. It's like a double edged sword. Oh, okay. All right. Let's just stay friends and keep the music out of it, you know? My bad, but... Yeah. Don't go breaking my heart. Yeah. Could, you know what song kind of reminds me of you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you hit me again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you know what song kind of reminds me of you, though? It's like it's like that one TikTok song. It's like soon when the weathermen come to bring them sugar and tea and Dude, rum. I love that song for. So I long. knew I you would love that song. I knew you would love that song. You're so done, and every time they're like soon may the weathermen come, da, 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 and she would be like, shut the fuck up. Just like, shut up. Stop singing it. And you're like, no, I can't because I am a sailor now. Honestly, I think. I think it's because she can't do a Scottish accent. Yeah. So I think maybe a little bit of jealousy. Could yeah, it might it might be like that. Also, sea shanty. I don't know if I would want to be called a sea shanty. I love sea shanties. But you kind of look like a sea shanty. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Um. In the last song of your EP, uh, talking, um, there is a very, very beautiful beat switch kind of in the middle-ish of the song. Um, how was it kind of like creating that beat switch? Because I know I know not a lot of artists are doing that. So talk me through yeah. that process. Yeah, so I worked with, uh, with two guys, Jeff and Evan, who ended up mixing and mastering the whole EP. So the three of us uh, sat down and figured out how we wanted that to sound. Shout out Jeff and Evan. Jeff and Evan. They, they know every, every time I'm in an interview or like I do like any type of piece of content to talk about, my music, I always talk about Jeff and Evan. You have to. There. You have to. But real quick before we move on, you're telling me that I'm not the only one interviewing you? No, you have yeah, other interviewees? Okay. Yep. No, no, no. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. Fine. I'm fine. You're the only one. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, chill. Look, I, I am chill. Stop saying the chill. But, um, yeah, so I, yeah, <laughs> I wrote, getting back to talking, I, uh, I wrote, um, this is the start to your song. Um, no, that's not, that's not a thread. That's not the thread. It's not. But, um, I knew, I wrote the song on acoustic guitar. Right. And I was like, what if it originally was going to be like a nice, slow and emotional song. Like, mm-hmm. Um, kind of like Ed Sheeran. And I was like, what if I yeah. just did it and just like did like massive hits instead and I tried on acoustic guitar I was like the last word is I was like I found something no, no, no. Right over to Jeff and Evan I was like guys you gotta do this it's super cool okay. no I love it um I've listened to this album or sorry this EP probably four four times or so somewhere around that realm um and it, it gets me literally every single time Every single time, uh, I, I always look forward to it. And I think something that I do want to point out, too, is whenever you start this EP at Nicotine and listen to it through, I think Nicotine is, like, the perfect opening song that you have to lead you into want to listening more. Um, do you think that's something that you thought of, or do you think that's something that um, has just happened and you're going to pretend like you thought about it? Oh, 100%, 100% I knew. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no other... Because I wrote all the other songs. Right, right. 
Quarantine was one of the last songs I wrote. Off oh, okay. And I knew it was very, like, uh, anthemic. Like, you, you, that's the kind of the song you play at, like, the bar or something you all just, like, party to. So I knew, like, a song with that much energy and, like, um, has that uh, potential to be really catchy should be the number one song because it will hook you into to get a little more. And then I want I knew I wanted to have Better Left Than Said right after it. Right. But figured out the track list because of the dynamic between the two. Right. Um, how long would you say that you've been working on this album for? Has it been, like... A gruesome process has it been kind of like uh just like a little bit like simplistic um i know it's different for everybody so how was it for you yeah it was unintentionally two years unintentionally two years unintentionally. It actually it wasn't that gruesome of a process like, really I did in like a, a span of time and then i sat on it for a while because i wanted the release to be so perfect mm -hmm. but i didn't have a clear idea of what that looked like so I kind of sat around waiting for this perfect moment, and then a year went by, and then I realized there's never going to be a perfect moment for anything. So. Yeah, it's you got to do it now and, and instead of waiting for never. Absolutely. So uh, doing it now, this this EP drops. Um, by the time you watch this, it will have already been out by a few days, but um, at the time of the recording, it is dropping in about four hours and twelve minutes. Um, how do you feel right now about that? Like, what's going on? I feel like I have so much more to do. <laughs> really? But it's never, I, it's weird, like, because I know I have to, um, I have to do a little bit more work on it, and right after this um, uh, release, I gotta start running the ads, gotta start hitting up all the, the talkers on the tick. Yep. And, um, That's one way to put it. We're cool. We're hip, you know? Yeah, we're yeah. like, we're, yeah. you know. Yeah, we're, we're pretty chill. We're in the youth of America, man. <laughs> yeah, we're just... Two kids making content. Yeah. Yeah. So I got that, and then, but overall, I, it's also like a sweet release to, like, it's like a sweet release for me because I have a lot of songs that I'm working on too that I'm equally excited about. Yeah. That I can't really release uh, until, you know, this big one uh, is uh, is out to the masses first. So, That's yeah, exciting. So, like, you know, kind of some fear, some. Um, you know, the gotta get the, the gears grinding now, but yeah, just, just excited. Well, I'm excited for you. Um, this is amazing. Make sure you go ahead and check out Everyone I Know is a Song in the End. CJ, tell them where they can listen it to. You can listen to it anywhere you listen to music. So Spotify, anywhere. Apple Music, if iTunes is around, probably there. Uh, YouTube, Google Play, Shazam, uh, anywhere else that I'm not thinking of. Yeah. It's all, it's all out there. So just search CJ Dunleavy. You'll find it. You heard it here. CJ, thank you so much for your time being on the show, pulling me out of hibernation. Um, I hope to bring you some more some more shows once I get like a better studio or something like that. I don't really know. I'll figure it out, but stay tuned because the Almost Too Late show is not over yet. CJ. Never. Never. It's the never ending too late. Almost done gonna be gone for a little bit and then come back out of nowhere show <laughs> show cj thank you so much for coming on i really appreciate it thanks for having me buddy. all right let's have a play out ready cj dunlevy coming out with an ep on the almost too late show let's go thanks for watching everybody have a great night